Hi, I'm Marilyn Reed. I'm in Pilar Pobil's garden for Art in Pilar's Garden. I'm from Ogden, and um, when I started elementary school, I was in a brand new school that was right up near the foothills. So during, and, and fortunately back then in those days, we had huge windows in all the classrooms, and all my classrooms were facing east, and I got to look at the mountains. And um, that was a huge distraction. I didn't do too well with my schoolwork. But I, I studied those mountains every single day, and I think it prepared me to want to paint. Because you look at something, its shape and its shadows and, and the textures of, of it. So that was kind of the beginnings. And I, was, I uh, went to art school for a little while at Weber State, and then I moved to Hawaii, and I graduated from the University of Hawaii. And then later I had another degree from the University of Utah. So I've taken tons of art classes. I was never a person who liked watery watercolors. Uh, a lot of loose uh, painting. I, I like things kind of constructed. I'm very interested in geometric form. When you paint in watercolor, it's an unforgiving medium. If you make a mistake, you can't paint over it. You can, you're welcome to, but it looks really messy. And watercolor needs to be very crisp and fresh. So after throwing away a lot of paintings because they didn't work out, I, I decided once to just paint on a separate sheet of paper the color that I needed and wanted, and then trace it and glue it onto the painting. And that began to have its own effect because it had a little bit of three-dimensionality to it. So almost everything I paint has some section, at least, that has been added by cutouts. And, uh, and, that's, and then it's been really fun to just take off with that and paint, just do a, a lot more collage work on top of the painting. But these are more, they look more like traditional paintings, but when you look close, you can see the cutouts. What I'm the most interested in is shape, and um, particularly geometric shapes. I like the square blockiness of, of houses, of um, uh, mountains, canyons, where you have those, those steep drop-offs. And I like uh, to, to have the, the light falling on that be uh, falling or, or disappearing in shadows. That's the part that's the most exciting to paint, um, where you have gradual, soft, muted light and shadow in the background, and then as you get closer, there's more sharp definitions. Um, I had a lot of fun painting the house. I, uh, the I, I think it's, it's really uh, very strong, probably very exaggerated but that's also part of an artist's prerogative. And um, I think the very flatness of that painting brings out those funny little shapes of the trees which are trimmed like little topiaries that have gone wild a little bit. So they're kind of strange little shapes that have strange shadows. And that is a nice counterbalance to the flat smoothness of the house surface.